Will Californians ever replace the senator with the plastic face? <laughs> yeah, she's not quite six feet underground, yet insists on sticking around. But should voters be hostile to another term for this fossil? <laughs> All right, Nancy Pelosi answered the question everyone has been asking, other than when will she fight Highlander? <laughs> this week, the eyebrow monster announced she's running for re-election. But look, if that rock that killed the dinosaurs didn't get her, then neither will the 2022 midterms. She first went to Congress in 1987, the year I was born, and has been the top Dem in the House since 2003. Nancy made the announcement on Twitter with technical help from someone one-eighth her age and asked herself, what are the three most important issues facing Congress? When people ask me, what are the three most important issues facing the Congress, I always say the same thing. Our children, our children, our children. Our children, our children, our children. The last time I heard that, it was from a parent filing a police report outside CNN. <laughs> but when she's in the arena, does she take a punch or throw a punch for the children? As you hear me say, when you're in the arena, you have to be able to take a punch or throw a punch for the children. Ah, uh, with all those punches, no wonder she always sounds like she has a concussion. <laughs> but is this election crucial? Is nothing less at stake than our democracy? This election is crucial. Nothing less is at stake than our democracy. But as we say, we don't agonize, we organize. And that is why I am running for re-election to Congress. That's what I say. But what is this obsession with children? And why won't you just call it quits? When I first announced I'd be running for Congress, I raised a lot of eyebrows, specifically my own, four inches above my face. What keeps me coming back like a looter to his favorite Walgreens? The children. The children. The children. The children. The children. The children. I'm going to keep serving the children, even as their parents pack up a U-Haul and move out of state. All right. Oh that was, that was, uh, that was uh, that's amazing. classic. That was amazing. I don't know who was playing her. But, uh... <laughs> so, Kat, uh, yeah. what would you tell Nancy? Yeah. Well done, by the way. Thank it. Hurt, it hurts my <laughs> face to do that. No, but it was worth it. I got enjoy it. Your suffering. If your suffering makes me smile, it's well, worth it. No, I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, look, I get that once you've been rich and powerful, it's probably really hard, I guess, to go back to just being rich. Yeah. But what the, what's the point of, like, you know, using your power to enrich yourself if you never take any time to just chill out and enjoy the spoils of your little scam. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's like, come on. Yeah. Why are you still there? Emily, shouldn't it be not children, children, children? It should be feces, feces, feces. Because <laughs> that's all you see. She's showing San Francisco. That's all it is, is poop, poop, poop. It's true. If that was really the four <laughs> sisters behind her and not just a green screen, then she would have gotten hit in the side of the head yeah. by yeah. Halfway through what she was saying, you're absolutely right. And that, I, what, what character is it where the um, teeth are like filed into points? That's what I just keep thinking what? whenever I see her, like children, children. You know what I'm talking about? No. no. Rural doll, like one of his characters maybe? Anyway, <laughs> she also went on to say that there was an, an assault on democracy in the way of three things she said. An assault on the truth, mm -hmm. the assault on the capital, and an assault on voting rights. So she tells you right now what the playbook is for the right. Democrat Party in terms of narrative going into the midterms mm -hmm. and going into 2024. And we just have to keep remembering that that load of is exactly why there's going to be a red wave takeover. No, it's true. None of those things are priorities for the people that are no. suffering from crime or or human poop, Joe. I love it. Every it, the, 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 it's been to the playbook, it's always about the children. That's been going on for like 30 years. It yeah. started, I think, in the 80s. It's like, it, it, and it ne they never help the children. Nothing they do actually ever helps kids. We're seeing that with the pandemic. Yeah, well, she wants the children for the sweet, sweet stem cells in their blood <laughs> to help rejuvenate her. Uh, yeah, it's, we've got to get rid of these uh, mm -hmm. old people. They've, they've accumulated too much power. I understand the older folks, no offense for wisdom, your life experience to share with us, but I can't think of the job where someone would say, get me an 81-year-old. Yeah. That's who we need in here. 
So they, they got to get her out of there. And, and Emily, you make an excellent point there that they're set, they, they talk about we've got to respect democracy, but they're already sowing the seeds there of if we don't win, mm -hmm. ah, the, the, everything is a fraud. And that is not democracy. Democracy, you have to accept the results of a fair election. So let's have fair elections, but don't play this game of if you win, everything's great, and if you don't, the system's broken and needs to be overturned. Yeah. Tyrus, she doesn't want, it's, you know, it's what Kat originally said. It's not just about wealth. She can't let go of the perks that come with the power of being in a powerful place. Okay, I'm actually ashamed of all of you that anyone would be surprised that she's running again. Mm -hmm. Don't you know that every senator or, they, or congressman stays till they die? Yeah. That's the rule. You get to die on the chair and you still get, you record your votes after, depending on how rigor mortis sets in <laughs> on your fingers and which way you vote. But the fact that she's still bringing up children, yeah. even after the Hansel and Gretel incident, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when she, was, when she originally ran, she promised a gingerbread house with candy and, yes. you know, and the whole kids in the oven thing. But apparently, you know, enough time has passed to where now she can talk about the children again. So I would imagine you're going to see a lot of investments in candy and stocks from, from her. <laughs> Not that she was the insider trading or whatever. No. So And uh, missing children in the neighborhoods. So yes. be careful. All righty. Coming up, who will the president support for a seat on the court? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.